right, welcome back. Here we are, round two. We've got another pump here. This one is a Berkeley. It is a uh, SSHM2. So it's a two horsepower, multi-stage uh, centrifugal pump. This pump uh, in operation produces an immense amount of head, uh, decent amount of flow, all around a pretty good pump. I sold this to a customer in 2015. He actually claims to have about 28 to 30 feet of suction lift. So theoretically, at our elevation, about 2,000 feet, this pump shouldn't work at all. But it's been working for almost three years. Um, and the customer brought it back today, wanted to see, hey, what's going on with this pump? Now, I suspect we've got some impeller wear, which has cut down on the pump's ability to do suction. Uh, but we've also got a, a gate valve here that only turns about an eighth of a turn. Uh, so we're gonna just start disassembling this thing and see what we can find that looks wrong. Well, we did it. After some big wrenches, we got her done. So now, we're gonna be able to look in here and figure out what's going on. The weird thing is, now the skate valve opens all the way. That was kind of a trip. Kind of inexplicable. If you ask me, that was really weird. Cause now it turns just fine. Hmm. Well, that's not the problem. Could have been, but it's not now. All right, next thing we gotta do, we're gonna pull these stages apart. So we got four bolts here. Looks like we're gonna have to use an Allen to rearrange those. So we're gonna grab some tools. All right, get all these undone. Interestingly enough, I had to take this pump apart three years ago because the customer burnt up the first set of impellers that came with it because he didn't have the pump properly primed. So I had to replace the impellers in it. So we're gonna take a look at those impellers, see how they look. All right, got the bolts out. So let's, uh, got lots of bugs crawling everywhere. Let's get this apart. There we are. Some drinking water in there. All right, well, no surprises in there. And uh, clearly our impellers aren't all ruined. Oh wait. Okay, impellers are rotating good. I don't hear any wear. I'm just gonna die if all that was wrong is that bolt or that gate valve was stuck closed. When we took it off, now it's fine. I don't even know if I wanna undo this. Clearly picking up some junk. I got mud and crap. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should we take that nut off and see? Okay, we will. We'll see what's in there. Half inch, hopefully. Sweet, half inch. Now I just gotta have a way to hold on to the thing. Okay, so lock nut, lock washer thingy. And regular washer. Let's have a look at these guys. Still got one in here. That looks good. Very minimal wear, surprisingly. Diffuser looks good. There she blows. Not a tremendous amount of wear. So I don't know, that looks pretty good. These aren't actually supposed to rotate, so that's not critical. Just the impellers rotate, so. That impeller looks good to me. So there's the inside of these, there's a, a little doohickey. Hopefully you can see that. So that goes on the underside of the shaft here. There's a channel. So you put that in the channel. That way when the shaft rotates, 
So does the impeller. That one looks fine, no issue. That one looks fine. I'm starting to regret taking this apart. And last but not least, that guy looks fine too. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, before I just put this all back together, just put a little bit of our favorite super lube on there. Synthetic non-petroleum based food grade grease. That way I don't run the risk of pinching this O-ring. Plus it gets a little extra helping uh, something that's gonna prevent it from drying out. But the O-ring's pretty good. It's still protruding up pretty good. I don't think we got any problems there. Everything looks good. Here's the fun part. All right, the bolt should pull it in the rest of the way. All right, so we uh, went ahead and uh, called the customer back. He wasn't able to verify that the gate valve was actually functioning. So we think that this one's just chalked up to a uh, faulty gate valve. We actually did just a quick water test on it. Sorry we didn't show that. Uh, we just kind of got caught up in the moment, but the pump tested great. We had good pressure. Uh, so I'm not really thinking that we've got anything to be concerned about with this pump. So we're gonna call it a wrap on this one. So we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. During this time of year, we're trying to put videos out as often as we can. Ideally two a week, but uh, right now we're looking at about one a week. Our normal schedule is Tuesdays and Fridays, but lately we've been just having a tough time hitting that. So anyway, we'll catch you next time. We got tons of other pumps to test.